dentist for every 4,000 residents in Polk County, and that is worse than the state and national average. So obviously there, that identified the need to start looking at dental more closely and identifying ways that we can increase that access for our low-income residents countywide. Because Polk County has this dedicated half-cent sales tax and it's used for matching uh, funds for different grants and other opportunities, it's really a catalyst to push and really engage our community to start coming together to work together to meet the need instead of individually. But we also want these people to be able to get that preventive care and get the treatment and services instead of going to the emergency rooms. Because at that point, that's when the costs start adding up and those emergency rooms become full of patients needing uh, treatment for dental and it could be non-emergent situations. And so what we want is these patients to go somewhere where it's not an emergency, where it's not going to be costly and extremely expensive for them to receive that care, and they'll get the right care in the right setting at the right time. I am extremely happy with the fact that we've got so many agencies coming together. We've got nonprofits, private um, businesses, um, educational institutions, coming together to figure out ways that we can start partnering to be able to see more people and to provide more services to more people. This is our newest facility and then we have three other ones. We have one in Bartow, one in Auburdale, and one in Lakeland. We provide services, both preventative services like cleanings and x-rays, and then we, we provide surgical extractions, we provide uh, fillings for adults and children. Good morning, Haines City Dental Office. This is Melinda. How can I help you? Children has always been a primary focus of ours through prevention efforts, but over the last years we've realized much more of the need for adults for dental care in this county, and that's why we've expanded our services. Well, we serve lots of different kinds of people, uh, people who need to pay cash, people who have Medicaid, and then we have some grant funding that provides some services for adults. A gentleman who made a phone call one day and said he had not had dental care most of his life and he came into one of our clinics and they took care of him with a series of extractions. And he called me twice to be sure I knew of what a positive experience it was, how he now didn't mind going to church on Sunday, he could now eat, and that he just felt like he was so thankful that there was now a program available for him. That makes me smile. When we started the clinic here, our objective was to get the students with more hands-on clinical training, actually in a dental office with, with a dentist, as well as to treat the individuals in the community that needed dental care. So it was a two-fold ambition that we did there. And then getting the patients to understand that we are only open January to May. We're only open two days a week, Monday and Tuesday. There is a, quite a waiting list, and we will get to you as soon as we can our first objective, obviously, is to train our students, to make sure that our students, when they graduate, are ready to walk into those private practices and be dynamite assistants for those practices. That's our first objective. Then our second objective, obviously, is to make sure that we can treat those that are most in need for dental care in the community that otherwise would not be able to afford to go anywhere. Lakeland Volunteers of Medicine is a clinic for the working uninsured of Polk County. Uh, we provide medical services, uh, doctor's visits, dental care, mental health services, laboratory, x-ray, and pharmaceutical services for those that don't have health care insurance and live in Polk County. We provide full service from pain relief to extractions to um, treatment plans where we'll take the patient all the way through everything they need done with their teeth. We also have volunteer dental hygienists, so we offer the hygiene services and cleanings here too. We are working with the Polk County Health Care Plan. Uh, they are coordinating uh, a, a pretty significant outreach uh, as far as bringing everyone together. Lakeland Volunteers of Medicine, Travis Votek, the Polk County Health Department, and in any other clinics that have the ability to do dental 
and bring those together in, in some coordinated fashion and to, to see if we can then serve more patients in Polk County. We really treat everyone. If you have insurance, you can come to us. If you don't have, you can come to us. We do restorative work, we do extractions, we do prosthodontic work, we do limited ortho treatment. As you can see, we have an awesome facility, state of the art, everything is beautiful. And it's affordable. It's a beautiful place where anyone that don't have no insurance, this is the place to be and the place to come. Service is wonderful, the doc's great. And I kind of enjoy coming here. I had broke my teeth like last week and look at me now. I'm back smiling again. Thank you. That is heartwarming to know that they can come here and get care and feel good about the care and trust us and especially to know that they're going to come back and that we're going to be their patient-centered medical home for dental and for medical services. Thank you. They're a blessing. We're figuring out ways to address the needs of our population. We're not waiting for the state. We're not waiting for the federal government. We are coming together as a community and we are looking at providing services to our vulnerable population and taking care of them.